Hi, this is Nancy with Redleaf Digi Scrapping. Thanks for joining me. This tutorial will show you how to cut titles and shapes out of digital scrapbook paper. The tutorial is being done in Photoshop Elements 4, but the same steps will work for any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. So to begin, I have the digital scrapbook paper open on my screen that I want to cut the title out of. Now the first step is to make sure this paper is showing up as a regular layer in the layers palette rather than as a background layer which is how mine is showing up right now. And you'll notice on the right hand side there's a little lock icon which indicates that the layer can't be moved around. So to change that layer to a regular layer just right click anywhere on the blue area and select layer from background. A dialog box will pop up asking for the name of the new layer and I'm just going to leave it at the default layer 0 and click OK. So now in the layers palette you'll see that the layer has changed, the layer name has changed to layer 0 and the little lock icon has disappeared meaning that I can now move this layer around. The next step is to type the title that you want to cut out of this paper. Now it doesn't matter what color you use to type the title. I'm just going to click on the text tool here to bring up my text options. Uh, the font that you select is important. You want to select a font that is fairly thick and has bold lines so that it cuts a nice shape out of your paper. So I'm going to use a font that comes standard with Windows software called Impact. There it is there. And because this is a title, I want to make it fairly large, so I'm going to change my font size to 100. Now the next step is just to click and drag the area that you're going to cut the title out of. So just hold down the left mouse button and drag the cursor down and you'll see the selection box expanding as you drag. And once you release the mouse button then your cursor shows up and you can begin to type. And my title is going to be Fun in the Sun. So I just type the title in and then select the move arrow on the upper left of the tools palette to deselect that type. So now you can see in the layers palette there's two layers. One is the paper layer which we had to begin with and the second is a text layer that says fun in the sun. The next step is to rasterize the type layer or simplify it which means we're turning it from text into pixels so it can no longer be edited as text. So to do that just right click anywhere on the blue area and select simplify layer and now you can see your little layer icon is showing up as a graphic rather than with the T indicating that it's text that can still be edited. Now the next step is to move the title layer underneath the paper layer. So to do that you want to just click anywhere on the blue area on your title layer and drag down and you'll see a little outline box appear as you drag that indicates where your layer is going to show up in the layers palette. So I'm going to drag it underneath my paper layer, release the mouse button, and now you can see I still have the two layers uh, in my layers palette, so they're both still there, but only the paper layer is showing up because that's the layer that's on top. Now the next step is to create what's called a clipping mask, and what that's going to do is clip the paper to just the shape of the text that's on our title layer. So to do that, hold down the Alt button on your keyboard, and move your cursor so that it's right on the interconnecting line between your two layers and you'll see your cursor change into two interconnected circles. Click once and now you'll see that your paper layer has disappeared and instead it has been cut into the shape of the text underneath. The rest of the background has disappeared. Now the next step to continue working with this is to merge those two layers together so that rather than a paper layer clipped to the shape of text, we're going to be working with one layer that's just the text. So to do that, right now my text layer is highlighted, it's selected. I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click anywhere on the paper layer above. So now they're both showing up as blue which means they're both selected. To merge them, just right click again anywhere on the blue and select merge layers from the drop down menu. Now we're back to one layer you can see on the layers palette here and it just has our text, our title cut in the shape of the paper. Now that title is ready to be dragged right onto your scrapbook page or the beginnings of your scrapbook page which is the other file that I have open here. 
Now, one last step that I like to do when I'm doing titles like this, and this is entirely optional, but I like to put a little fine white border around the letters just to make them pop off the page a little bit more. So to do that, I'm going to go down to the color uh, selector at the bottom here and click. And rather than black, I'm going to drag my color right up to the top left corner so that it's showing up as white and click on OK. So that's now the color that's going to outline my text or my title. Next, go up to the Edit menu and click Edit and then go down to Stroke Outline Selection. Now in the dialog box that pops up you have a few options. It asks you for the width of the stroke that you want to do and I just want a very fine width so I'm going to select 5 pixels Again here, if you haven't selected the color uh, from the color selector on your tools toolbar, you can select it here. And then you can decide where you want the outline to show up on your text. Do you want it to be completely inside the text? Do you want it half inside, half outside, or completely outside? I generally like to go with inside just because when it's going around curves and corners it gives a little bit nicer rounding than if you go to center or outside. Sometimes the edges and corners can get clipped a little bit going around a curve. For blending I'm going to leave the blending mode at normal and the opacity at 100 but this is something else that if you want to you can play with to change the look a little bit of your stroke. So I'm going to leave those settings as they are, click on OK and now I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see I now have a very fine white outline around the outside of my letters and just to give one last little bit of um, pop to my title what I'm going to do is just add a little drop shadow to it and there's the finished title so it's quite an easy effect to obtain and if you don't have a lot of alphabets that match the layout that you're doing, this is a, a quick and easy way to create an alphabet or a title that coordinates with your layout. So that is how to create or how to cut titles and you can use the same uh, techniques for cutting any other shape out of your digital scrapbook paper. Thanks for joining me.